For thousands of years, it was the color of kings and gods, a brilliant blue that lit up the walls of ancient Egypt. But how did they make it? Join us as we uncover the mysterious recipe behind Egyptian blue. Don't forget to subscribe. Egyptian blue, known in the scientific community as calcium copper silicate, has come to be recognized as a pioneering feat of human creativity. With origins speculated to precede 3000 BC, Egyptian blue was first created in ancient Egypt, making it one of the earliest artificial pigments known to humanity. It is also a pigment that is remarkably resistant to fading, even after thousands of years. Excavations of ancient Egypt have revealed that Egyptian blue was utilized extensively in art and religious contexts, adorning statues, tomb paintings, and sarcophagi. Crafting it required a delicate balance of calcium compounds, copper materials, and silica sand, showcasing ancient mastery of chemistry. Even today, its optical properties continue to intrigue scientists, who are still finding new applications for its unique characteristics. From biomedical imaging to advanced communication technologies, Egyptian blue remains a source of inspiration for modern innovation. Evidence of Egyptian blue can be found on limestone sculptures, cylinder seals, beads, wall paintings, and statues. The oldest known example of the exquisitely colored pigment is said to be about 5,000 years old, found in a tomb painting dated to the reign of Ka, the last pharaoh of the first dynasty. Others, however, state that the earliest evidence of the use of Egyptian blue is from the fourth dynasty and the Middle Kingdom, around 4,500 years ago. Nevertheless, some scholars argue that its widespread use began during the Middle Kingdom period, which started around 4,000 years ago. More recent research has even posited that Egyptian blue was not an Egyptian invention at all, but was originally brought over from Mesopotamia or Syria. Whenever it was first used by the time of the New Kingdom, from around 1550 BC to 1070 BC, Egyptian blue was commonly used as a pigment in painting and can be found on statues, tomb paintings, and sarcophagi. Its characteristic blue color, resulting from one of its main components, copper ranged from a light to a dark hue, depending on differential processing and composition. Egyptian blue pigment was also often used as a coloring agent in ancient Egyptian faience objects, a kind of ceramic adorned with intricate designs, often glazed with vibrant colors. The pigment was commonly incorporated into the ceramic material to achieve various shades of blue, ranging from light to dark hues. Egyptian blue added vibrancy and depth to the color palette of faience objects, enhancing their aesthetic appeal. In ancient Egyptian belief systems, the color blue held profound significance, representing the heavens, the vast expanse of the universe, and the life-giving waters of the River Nile. This celestial hue symbolized life, fertility, and rebirth, embodying the cyclical nature of existence. While other colors like reds, yellows, and browns were readily available, blue held a special allure due to its rarity and association with divine entities. The deep blue semi-precious stone lapis lazuli, imported from Afghanistan, served as a luxury item for the Egyptians, its rich color ideal for depicting their revered deities. To replicate the precious blue of lapis lazuli, ancient Egyptian artisans sought to produce a synthetic pigment, resulting in the creation of Egyptian blue. Historians believe that Egyptian blue came about as a result of deliberate experimentation and refinement by skilled craftsmen in ancient Egypt. Known production centers for Egyptian blue were indeed established in cities like Amarna and Memphis, where skilled craftsmen meticulously crafted this revered pigment. Archaeological excavations at these sites have uncovered workshop remains, including kilns and tools used in the pigment production process. Analysis of these artifacts, 
alongside scientific studies of the chemical composition of Egyptian blue samples, has provided valuable insights into the production techniques employed by ancient artisans. The production process of Egyptian blue required a precise combination of raw materials. Calcium compounds, likely sourced from limestone or gypsum, formed the base for the pigment, while copper materials, such as malachite or copper ores, were added to impart its characteristic blue color. Silica sand acted as a stabilizing agent, and fluxes like natron or plant ash helped lower the mixture's melting point during firing. By carefully controlling the proportions of these ingredients and heating them to specific temperatures, artisans could achieve the desired hue of Egyptian blue pigment. However, while we have a general understanding of the production process based on available evidence, the exact techniques used by ancient craftsmen may vary and are not always fully understood. The process undoubtedly required skill and expertise to ensure consistency in color and quality. Over generations, through experimentation and refinement, ancient craftsmen perfected the production of Egyptian blue, creating a pigment that became highly prized and widely used in ancient Egyptian art and culture.